Bang! Needs knives, I'm Jared, and today we have two new Serge Panchico knives. We're gonna check out, we'll check this one out here in a second. Let's get to the Roger first. So this is the Serge Panchico Roger. Now, I gotta say right off the bat, when I seen this for the first time, I think it was on his Instagram, or maybe it was on his site, uh, but when I seen it, I instantly fell in love. Like to me, I love the look of this knife. It totally screams my style. And what I mean is this blade shape. I, you get, if you guys watch the channel enough, you guys know I love these bird beak style blade shapes, or you can even call it a spear point, you know, cause it has a, a beautiful swedge on top and it kind of beaks out there. So I can just see the versatility with this blade shape, like so useful. Then you jump back here to the ergonomics and I can see it's very neutral, meaning it looks like I can hold it in any grip very comfortably without issue and you know being able to use it in whatever direction I want to comfortably, which is huge for me. You know, like if I have to cut ropes all day or straps, you know, over and over and over, I want it to be comfortable when I do it. You know, if I have to do utility cuts constantly, I want it to be comfortable. So really, um, really cool design. Now, I will say though, that the blade is a little offset from the handle. So I'm not gonna say it's a negative thing. Um, it's just an observation thing. Uh, it's something you quickly get used to, but right off the bat, when you first get it in hand, you feel like the blade should be right here. The edge should be right here. Um, so when you choke up like this, your finger does go up a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. I can easily choke up and really get some leverage. Um, because of this ramp right here, I can turn it around and really like dig in. Like say if I had to snag a rope and pull it in, I could do that very easily. But like I said, the blade does feel a little offset from the handle and it's just the way it is. You can see how it necks up right here. Almost like a bird's neck. Um, and that makes it to where the distance from here to here feels a little abnormal. Now, like I said, not bad, just an observation. You wind up getting used to it pretty quickly and it's fine. Now, because of the neutral ergos, like I was saying before, you know, you're gonna be able to, to comfortably use it pretty much however, but when you are choked back, you are a little distance away from the edge. Not that that's a big deal, <clears throat> but it could be. Now, the blade steel is N690 steel. So we have N690 and titanium. Now there is other versions in fat carbon fiber. The fat carbon fiber one still has titanium liners and then they just swap the scales. So this one has the titanium scales. The other one has the fat carbon fiber scales. Both of them have titanium liners. And you can see the heavy milling in the titanium liners. Uh, spring pocket clip that worked great. These work great, they're really good clips. I actually appreciate clips that work this good because they don't chew your pockets up. Let's talk about the action. Man, oh man. This thing, the, the whole deployment, in my opinion, just lands right where my middle finger lands or my thumb. So it, it's very easy to just rapidly deploy this with a reverse flick or a thumb flick because of where, how big the hole is, the distance away it is. Um, I have tons of leverage inside of it and it just lands in such a nice comfortable spot. It is a button lock obviously, and you can see it does, it is <laughs> guillotine dropping action, as most button locks should be. It is a button lock on a plunge. You can see the plunge come out right there. See the stop pins. Now, as far as uh, the price goes, I think it's 150, around 150. Now. Am I mad at that? Not really. Um, now I know N690 is more of a budget to mid-grade steel, so it's not a super steel by any means. It's not a premium steel whatsoever. It would be considered lower tier mid-grade or top tier budget, one of the two. Now, it's a, it's a steel that takes a good edge. It does hold a decent edge um, and it's nice in corrosion resistance. It's a decent steel for a, a knife. Now, considering the handle materials being, you know, all titanium, you know, you know, yeah, it's probably a little bit overpriced, but, but to the way I think about it is that the style, right? Like if it's your style, if this is a knife that speaks to you, well then that to me is very important because like I have knives that um, great prices, right? 
the phenomenal materials for a phenomenal price, but I don't carry them because they're not my style. So if the knife happens to be your style, you like the look of it, um, you know, it just kind of speaks to you, well, that's gonna go a far way, you know, as far as how happy it makes you and how much you actually like it. So I, I wouldn't change, now, now I know some people would just argue like, well, you could just have both, right? You could have this, the style plus, you know, and, and that's, you know, yeah, you could say that, but to me, what I'm trying to say is that, to me, I don't, the 150 is not that big of a deal considering um, the design is so awesome. That's all I'm trying to say. To me, for me personally, now it might be to you. You might, you might hate the price. Uh, you might say that is way too overpriced. But for me, like I said, man, I, I think um, because I think the design is so awesome, I don't think it's that bad. But yeah, I would rather pay a few extra dollars for a design I love, that I'll carry, that I enjoy, and, and that to me is eye appealing to me. Let's get to the next one. Now the next one is the Slip 7. Serge Panchico Slip 7. It is a slip joint in premium materials. We have M390, full titanium, and this is like $10 less than this one. Uh, but it is a slip joint. So the slip joint has really good walk and talk. So check this walk and talk out. Beautiful walk and talk. Nice clackiness. I, I love the sound where it's almost like two glass marbles hitting. I love it. So fantastic walk and talk. Beautiful spring pocket clip. These clips work great. They, um, they're super smooth in and out of the pocket. You don't have to worry about them chewing your pants up. Then these ergos are very neutral, so it's gonna be comfortable in anybody's hand. You can basically use it in the direction that you might use a slip joint in. Um, the blade is a sheep's foot blade. Beautiful swedge, beautiful geometry, beautiful sharpening choil. And that's another thing, man. Serge Panchico, as far as I know, always does good sharpening choils and plunge grinds. Maybe there's a couple examples out there, I don't know. But for the ones that I always see, they're always great plunge grinds. Because I, and, and the beautiful thing about that is that you can tell the, the knife maker or knife designer either uses knives, sharpens knives, or understands the user's aspect and, and cares about how it's going to be for the user. Um, when I see a plunge grind, a sharpening choil on a knife that, that's not that great, I just can't help but think like the, the designer or the maker or whatever did not think ahead for the user. They didn't care about their ability to sharpen it and how good it will look after sharpening multiple times. This is a knife I could sharpen a dozen times and it's still gonna look new. It's still gonna look good, as, you know, as long as I don't mess up the sharpening because it's not gonna chew into the plunge grind and create a big old smile back here or possibly start recurving, you know, like buck 110s do or, you know, um, or it just gets all messed up back here and it starts protruding because it's thicker, you know? So beautiful plunge grinds from Serge Panchico and it really shows that he uses knives and or sharpens and, you know, cares about the future of the person that owns the knife. Um, now you can see that the pivot is offset. It's so one thing your eye might have picked up right away. So the pivot's actually over here to the left rather than in the center. Not a problem. Um, it just is what it is. The back spring is inset a little bit. It's just the way the design is. Um, I have no problems with that. The only thing I do have a problem with is T6s. Now this does come with a couple drivers. So, you know, you have the drivers in the, the box to, uh, to take it apart or to maintenance it or whatever you want to do. But all in all, Really, really cool, man. Uh, I really don't have any complaints except for the T6s. That's really it. It's a super solid slippy. If you're into slip joints and this is your style, they have a clip. So that's one thing. Uh, that's a beautiful thing for me with slip joints because I personally love clips. I'd rather carry a clip than a slip. But I also like the look of slip. So I kind of like to do a little bit of both. But so this does give you the ability to do either one, you know, and you can always put it in a slip with the clip still on because it's a nice low profile clip. Um, but yeah, this is one that uh, if you like slip joints, this is something you can definitely appreciate. Very high quality, fantastic uh, walk and talk. 
the great uh, pinch point too. You see how there's no nail nick? It doesn't need it. The stone wash is nice and tacky. You can grip it and rip it so easily. Like you get ton, I love that too. I don't like slip joints where I gotta fight to get it out. I wanna be able to just grip it and rip it. And that's the way this is. So that's another fantastic thing. The slim profile makes it so easy to carry. You, this, you'd lose this, not lose it, but like you wouldn't even know it was in your pocket. It's so slim and, and lightweight. Yeah, this thing's awesome. And, but at any point, you have a full-size knife in your pocket, and, um, you know, it's nice and comfortable. So there you guys go. Work hard. Stay tough. Until next time, peace.